Everything's gonna get a little better, I promise. Yeah, shaking down drug dealers, I bet. That's not fair. That is so not fair. Yeah, well, your daughter's invested a lot in this fishing trip, so let's not disappoint her this time. Why? Once again, why would I disappoint her? You always have such a low self- Whatever. Lindsay, your father's here! Lenny! Hey, Dad. Hey, Princess. Ready? so hard. 
I'm so hard doing what I'm supposed to. I just have so much to do, try to just get everything taken care of so you guys got a great future. Lindsay, Lindsay, where are you going? Stop! Lindsay! Dad, look what I caught! What? How the hell did you catch that thing? Are you kidding me? Put that thing down, let's go fishing. You just caught this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! What is it? What? It's gonna bite you. Let's go fishing. Put the thing down. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Ooh. Bet you I'm gonna catch one bigger than you this time. I don't think so. Well, you might be the world champion, but I got a good feeling about this, baby. Lindsay? Yeah? There's another reason, other than fishing, why I brought you out here. I want to talk about it. something really important with you. What? Well, I know your mother tells you they don't have any money. She probably tells you that all the time. But I have, the truth is, basically, I have a lot of money saved at the house for you. If anything happens to me, I, want, I just want you to know where it's at. So I'm going to tell you where it's at. It's in the safe in the basement in the west corner. If you don't know what the west corner is, you will figure it out. It's in a big safe. I'm going to give you the combination. And if anything happens, like I said, I want you to go get the money before anyone finds out, okay? Wait, why? Is there something going to happen to you? No, baby. I just want to let you know just in case, okay? Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Robbing to the rhythm, asking me for that fire, so I blaze, I'ma give up, yeah. CNC, ready to run, we call y'all cookie niggas. Y'all gon' crumble, you don't want it with S, you don't want it with E's, you don't want it with killer. We down like we're standing on our feet. Right, and you, how you doing, man? Real good. 
you know, running things out here in Syracuse, doing my own business. How are you doing? Working? Yeah, I'm working a retail job, man. It's all right. I mean, it's long hours, and I mean, the pay's kind of shitty, but what am I going to do? Yeah. But the way you were as a kid, I figured you'd be out in the Army by now, running around like Rambo and Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I remember those days, man. Miss those days, though, you know? Yeah. Got so nowadays, your retail business paying you well? Yeah. It, it's all right, man. It's all right. I mean, just just to get by, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm all right. Uh, Listen, why don't you take down my number? I got a little business going on. I can make you some extra money if you need it. Shit, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, Brian. All right. I got some business to take care of, but you know, right. it's good seeing you. I'll let you get out of here. So, how's work been? It's been all right, except for my manager, man. He keeps he keeps fucking me about this shit, man. I mean, yeah, I'm late a couple times, things like that. My car won't start. I hear you, man. It's tough making ends meet in the queues. Yo, man, I ran into this dude the other day, Mike Levins. I mean, you're from Eastwood, man. You know who he is. He's some big dealer, right? How do you know him? I know him since I was a kid. My cousin works with his crew, man. Don't fuck that dude over. You'll end up in Onondaga Lake. Mike told me if I really need any extra cash to get a hold of him. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man, big money in that shit. My cousin makes about three grand a week. I also have a friend who pushes in Canada, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, three grand a week and 30 years in prison. I don't know, man. I'll tell you what, man. You ever get into this? Let me know. 30 years in prison is worth it as long as I make my ends meet. I hear you, man. I feel the same way, man. I mean, I can't take this retail bullshit no more, man. I don't know. Or I smoke. <laughs> Hello today. Listen, why don't you take down my number? 